What's up, yo yo squad? Welcome back to another Boom Beach Warships video. As you can see, your boy finally made it to legendary rank 1 and I will be showing you on how I actually got there. This is my current tech tree and after the rank 25 I got myself the shock launchers. As you can see, I still don't have heavy choppers, I still don't have troop damage. Next unlock is gonna be the heavy choppers, because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need those. So, if you guys are wondering on what to unlock after the building health, I would suggest you to go towards the shock launchers. Because those are actually really, really helpful versus the seeker attacks it doesn't matter if they have bullet troop damage or anything else because pretty much all of them are gonna fizzle and this is my log for now one banana actually <laughs> i lost and i was ranked 24 as you can see over here then tom i went back into the rank 25 we actually both fizzled but he actually fizzled a little, lot harder than I did. I'm not quite sure why I tried to do the attack like this. Where I went 4-4 four, four on double flip. It, it normally doesn't work for me, so I'm not quite sure why I did this. I had kind of decent split. And to be honest, I got really, really lucky. Almost fizzled over there, just a couple seekers left, but nothing to be proud of, so that's how I fizzled. Okay, and that's where my winning starts, so here is another guy, and I think this was my first opponent, where I actually had the shock launchers, we will check, I know I didn't have them versus Tom. Because I know that I lost versus the Bon Bonane and I was collecting chests for to go to grab myself the shock launcher. So I think this was the first guy that faced me when I unlocked myself the shock launcher. So let's just check real quick. Yeah, there they are. And I'm pretty, yeah, he had bullets. So I will show you the replay. You can see, even with bullet, they're actually using way way too much GBE, and then shock launcher is just locking bullet, not making him over there, and then the critters are chewing him away really really fast. I'm not gonna lie. Next one. I actually went with the heavy chopper, rocket chopper, because I'm pretty sure that Capone had the shock launchers, so I had to do it like this. I didn't have the best on, I'm not proud of it at all. But Capone doesn't have the boom cannon, so I'm not really proud of my attack, especially since it was really, really slow. But again, those rocket launchers actually hurt a lot. As you can see, I'm trying to slow them down as much as I possibly can while my other troops are working on those engine rooms. Again, flaring up, grabbing this engine room over here, slowing them down again, and then just dropping a whole bunch of shocks, flaring the last engine room. Probably, if I went with the cluster grenade, it probably might have been a little bit faster, but he actually fizzled, and General Moz, we actually both fizzled really, really hard, and I think I went, uh, again, I'm going with the rocket choppers, but I think after I grabbed myself the chest, the, not the chest, the engine room that would give me the win, I just retreated, so... And also, it seems that this is pretty, pretty common base layout for the guys with the uh, shock launchers. 
I'm still not changing mine. I think there is no need to do that. And again, those rocket launchers over here are actually really, really hurting. I lost way, way too many rocket choppers, and also the sniper tower is killing all of my rocket choppers. And then I grabbed those two engine nooms, and then I just retreated. I couldn't do much more, but luckily he actually fizzled more than me. Here's a legendary guy. He actually doesn't have. Well, actually, he does have the shock launchers, and again, I'm gonna going with the rocket choppers. But also, he has the uh, heavy choppers. He got the 100% troop damage. He's got bullet and all that stuff, and he still managed to fizzle somehow versus me. So I will show you his replay. I will do it on four times, but I was just taking my time, and I was just hoping that. He will fizzle. I even lost one of my choppers due to this cannon. I didn't even notice him there. So from here, I'm just clearing my troops and just letting them kill everything. Not quite sure why I shocked over here and dropped the critters way, way too early. <coughs> Sorry about that. And this is, I think, where he actually retreated, and I was just, okay, I'll take my sweet con. But still, I wanna practice those rocket choppers attacks a little bit, so I kinda get used to them. Tomorrow, when I have the heavy choppers, it will probably be a lot easier. So, I will show you his replay. I don't want to keep this video way, way too short. But this is how he was going and I'm not gonna lie all those critters are actually doing really really good job they're actually chewing a whole bunch of his troops as you can see over here even bullet is dead and pretty much all of his heavies are instantly dead after those critters get locked onto them okay Alfredo we both fizzled but I think Again, I retreated right after I've seen that he fizzled. Or maybe I actually fizzled even more. He doesn't have the shock launchers, and I'm not quite sure why I have tried attack like this. Yeah, I had a triple split from here, which is something I don't like at all. I tried to shock all of his critters. I didn't manage to do it. And I was pretty pretty close to taking him down actually, but luckily he fizzled more than I did. Erha is only rank 24. And I'm not gonna lie, he actually beat me earlier when I didn't have the shock launchers. I tried to do some fancy splits that didn't work out at all. And now I'm just taking my sweet time not rushing anywhere, shocking the world, clearing the mines for the seekers. And just like that, I managed to get him down. Okay, next one, another rank 25, and I'm pretty sure that this guy also had the, how do I call the bullet and 100% true damage. It does make a huge difference, I'm not gonna lie. I will be a little bit late to the troop damage party for sure, but I'll try to kind of ignore that and try my best with the heavy choppers and uh, seekers and all that good stuff, so we will see. At the end, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to kind of maintain my position and hopefully I'll be able to continue on claiming the legendary chests instead of diamond because I will need quite a lot of them. No, he's actually running brick. Okay, I actually thought he's got the bullet because he had 100% true damage. As you can see, those engine rooms are dropping really, really fast. And he also had the artillery, so I'm not quite sure why he didn't or down one of the shock launchers, but it is what it is. And here is my boss fight. I guess I got, I got 
kind of lucky on my uh, matching because I didn't match too many guys with the shock launchers. The only guys that had shock launchers, I went with the uh, how they're called with the rocket choppers. So again, a whole bunch of seekers actually still left. So that was my boss fight for legendary. That's how I did it, guys. So I hope this is gonna help you at least a little bit. That's gonna wrap up the video for today, guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new. Hit the like button, comment down below, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Yo yo, out. Peace.